respiratory world. This is an aerosol setup for, um, we usually use them for tracheostomy tubes, patients want tracheostomy tubes. Um, we need the ventilator. As you see here, you can adjust the FiO2, 28%, 35, 50. Anything above 50, I usually do a double setup um, to say it doesn't get adequate uh, oxygenation from a single setup above 50. So I will do a dual setup just so you know we can have an adequate flow. And fill this up with normal saline. And with sterile water, not, 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 not normal saline, not normal saline, sterile water. Uh, corrugated tubing to a drainage bag. I don't see one here right now. Here we go. This is the drainage bags. As you see, corrugated tubing goes into here, goes into here. Excess humidity, um, the water from the humidity drains into the drainage bag. I don't have any corrugated tubing, but you'll connect it to aerosol mask or to a trick mask. I don't have a trick mask here right now, but just the aerosol setup. Um, this goes into the this goes into the flow meter. You'll run this at about. I guess it depends on the FiO two, but I usually run mine about between six and ten, six to eight, closer um, for the lower FiO two, maybe twenty eight to forty, about six to eight, and um, five from forty to maybe about fifty. Yeah, I run about eight eight liters, eight nine liters. Um, I don't have any corrugated tubing to show you right now, but this is our aerosol setup. Like I said, patients sometimes um, may have increased uh, secretions. We put them on aerosol setup. Sometimes it helps, you know, loosen up the secretions a little bit. Cool aerosol.